morning guys welcome back half fast 719 took a break off the YouTube for a while for a minute to get some stuff done um, had to get the kids room finished it's all finished he's sleeping and living in there now um, got the bench all cleared off a bunch of crap out of here just went to Harbor Freight, picked this up for 39 bucks. Um, does work, works. Um, however, I knew I'd regret this. I welded this to this metal, so I'll have to cut that off and do it, um, <clears throat> or or not. I don't know yet. Um, just this video is just going to be update what's happened. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> a neighbor was throwing this away and I, my wife picked it up. It's a swamp cooler and the pads, it was it was pretty nasty. All the pads were had dog hair and the pump was seized. Like, it couldn't pump water. I do have water pumps, two of them in here somewhere if it didn't work or if it stops working I do already have the pump it's the same identical pump that's in there um, but yeah it was the shaft was wadded up with hair put some new filters on it some swamp cooler filters so now I'll have some uh, swamp cooler air in the garage uh, <clears throat> I wanted to get one of those the VersaCool or whatever they're called, the big ones, um, anyway, so, no dirt biking videos yet, because kids been working, I've been working, and you can see the hood's open, hood is open on the truck, and, I'm not sure if I can, I don't see a light. I don't know what that means. Did it come unplugged? It was unplugged all night? I sure hope not. Hmm. Anyway, I'm running into issues on the truck. <clears throat> if you watched my last video, I go into basically what I did. So this hose right back in there that goes to the heater core. It's hard to see it. Anyway, you can see I've got a lot of wet leaking coolant stuff back in there. So that hose and goes to the heater core. That was leaking. Um, so I fixed it. It stopped leaking. It's not leaking anymore. And I hosed off the whole engine. Hosed off everything. <clears throat> this is the little box. The uh, bully dog box. Right here. That got all kinds of water into it. Through here, I'm assuming. Through all these holes. Pulled it apart. Dried it all out. Um, but yeah, so, anyway, that light is staying on. I've tried all the little tr tips and tricks. So, uh, what I was reading last night was that if your batteries are dead or about to go dead, that light will come on. So, I figure I'd try that. Charge the batteries, plus disconnecting the batteries for more than an hour. Some people said they disconnect them for four hours. So they've been disconnected since, I don't know, seven o'clock last night. I also did remove that little, uh, <clears throat> that alarm thing, um, the aftermarket thing. It was just a uh, impact shock sensor is all it is. Uh, so like if the windows get bro broken or something happens, it doesn't send signal to the ignition I believe because um, it was tapped into some wires 
<clears throat> so I had to splice wires back together. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I got that. I'll worry about that later. Got some more rock, more asphalt. The guy dumped it off yesterday. It's another thing I did yesterday. Um, yeah, shipping container. It's a mess in there. Um, thinking about starting an eBay business, eBay store, because I got so much stuff in there, so much little clutter stuff. Uh, yeah. Um, here's old shingles from that roof. You can see I did the siding. I had to do the siding on it. Installed the little air conditioner. A little split heat pump goes in. It's kind of a, I got a lot of extra stuff right there, but I did a ducting or a gutter. Goes down and then the hoses come off of it. Anyway, so now I gotta, <clears throat> I gotta paint that. Um, and I'm throwing this away little by little in the trash can because if I throw it all in there, the trash man can't pick it up or the trash truck. So they're saying 250 pounds max. But yeah. And got a lot of scrap wood that I need to do something with. I'll probably cut it all up and put it in the trash can too. Yeah, too much, just too much stuff that has happened and is, is happening. Oh, also, see, I got a new breaker box. So, uh, the kid came, did the box. Um, took about all day to do it. Ran wiring. He ran some extra stuff. Um. I installed this little junction box because one of them goes to the barn and one of them goes back here. I was going to tie into the air conditioner unit, but it's 220. The air conditioner unit's uh, 115 or 120, and this coming out is, is just too much for it. It's 240, and even if I tied off the wires the proper way and make it, it's just too much. It's too much wiring, too thick of wiring. Um, but anyway, this is the wiring. I saw extra wiring, extra wiring, because he ran new, huge, thick wiring down into here. Um, <clears throat> got pretty much everything all labeled. So, everything's being used except for one, two, three, four five six seven so I got seven slots these two are labeled AC because they run back there just in case we do an air conditioner um, but yeah I got the air compressor that little garage heater is on its own the air compressor and welder it's the same but anyway uh, we went through the whole house and these are wired up these two but they don't wire to anything. We checked everything, garbage disposal, doorbell. Um, I can't find out what they're wired to. Like maybe there was a whole house fan in here, or I even checked for attic lights. I didn't see any attic lights. So, yeah, it's basically been what's, what's been going on. Um, but yeah, so, I ended up doing the junction box, had to fish wire up, over and down. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, he would have done it. He said he'd come back and do it, but I don't know. He was, he's kind of meticulous, but I think I'm a little more meticulous. So I just told him I would do it. So yeah, I think I'm going to hook up these batteries and see what it does. I also have, like I mentioned before, I got a tranny service kit for the truck and I just got a tranny service for the Audi. So, this is the fluid for it. Um, Toyota ASIN, ASIN Warner automatic transmissions. 
Um, <clears throat> so it's for Audi. So we have those trannies that are in there are uh, an ASIN, ASIN transmission. So it's nine quarts, <clears throat> a filter, uh, a little grommet for the gasket, and then a couple seal, seal plug things, uh, one for the drain plug, and it's supposed to be one, or maybe it is just one for the drain plug. That was the uh, a ZF transmission. So Gary, for your transmission, here's the ZF transmission. You do the same thing. Don't let don't let BMW or anybody tell you it's it's a lifetime. It's not a lifetime. It's, they say recommend every fifty thousand to seventy five thousand. So that says Volkswagen Audi transmission. So anyway, I got nine quarts of that filter. I bought uh, the stupid little filled things. So these are different fills. This is for obviously sticking it up and in for like a differential. <clears throat> this is for, I believe, an older, the older Audis. These are for Mercedes and Audis. And this is for my car. So, yep. So what I'm gonna use to fill it, I don't know. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but um, the whole process is just stupid. You you gotta drain it cold, ice ice cold, and you take the drain plug out of the oil pan and like one quart comes out and then there's another plug a little tube plastic tube that's in there you take that plastic tube out and then I think six and a half quarts come out and then to fill it you pump seven quarts in and then you run the car the car has to reach a certain temperature but it can't reach a certain temperature too high it's some Celsius stuff which I'll have to convert to Fahrenheit, which is no big deal. Um, but then, as as the car's running, you take the main drain plug out that's in there, the main one, not the oil pan. You take it out, and then you pump another cord in there while it's running and idling or drive whatever it's doing, and then you pull it out, and then you should be good. I don't know. It's the the way to do it is about five or six pages the whole steps there's about 28 steps and it's about five or six pages uh, long <clears throat> but anyway so what I'm going to use to pump it in there hopefully is a uh, Hudson sprayer let's go grab that real quick a Hudson sprayer because this the ones the ones they want you to use and want you to buy um, are upwards where I got the oil from they want 200 bucks for a transfer tank so oh, what I'm gonna do since I have two of these and this one and back back's tight and I have this one uh, that one I'm not going to use. I'll end up using this one. <clears throat> so you got a pressure relief and the hose. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get diameters. Diameters? And uh, yeah, it already has gallons, ounces. So you guys know <clears throat> eight quarts, four quarts is a gallon. So this takes two gallons. So this will take eight quarts. So that's plenty. So I basically just need seven quarts in here or whatever. I'll clean this out. And this is gonna be my transfer tank. So I'm gonna buy a little pressure gauge. A pressure gauge, a ball valve for the end instead of using this. So, and probably some more flexible hose. But anyway, 
more stuff I bring out of the garage, the more stuff I bring in. But all right, guys, that's pretty much that's pretty much gonna be it for the video. It's just what I've been doing besides working tons and tons of hours. I want to say I've had since the beginning of the year till now. I have about 31 hours overtime. So. What is that? 16 days. Yesterday was the 16th. So, and then last month, I think I had a total of like 28 hours overtime. So, kind of burnt out. But anyway, all right, guys, that's gonna be it. So, stay tuned for some of those videos. If I can get back into them, I just wanted to get my garage clean. The garage is clean enough. I'm thinking about taking that air compressor. And where I have that 220 wire, putting it behind the house, fishing in um, some airline, and then I can move the welder and stuff over there. But anyway, I guess you guys let me know if you have any suggestions. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.